Welcome back, everyone. It's Losers Finals time here in Monthly Checkup August. This is Leviticus with JB Henry. And uh, after the last one, uh, I cannot uh, wait. I, I believe this is uh, a rematch. Yes, this, these two played in the winner's bracket already. Uh, it was 3 1 for Hebe Motto in his favor. Um, so Perula not uh, putting down, you know, going down without a fight. Um, and now that she's had some time to, to make her run through losers, um, we're going to see if uh, she can get her revenge. Um, yeah, this is going to be incredible. I can't wait to see it. Any thoughts on this one? This will be an interesting one. Uh, I think Perula of the folks that I've seen so far tonight definitely plays with the most combo aggression, really looking for those quick top outs. Hibimato is more of a hybrid player, uh, but Hibimato definitely has those uh, mid and end game strengths. Uh, we saw it on display uh, just earlier, uh, holding Snipe off. So uh, really, really looking forward to this one. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, I'm going to give um, the go ahead to both of these players. Uh, and uh, we should be off very shortly. Let's get this going. Labeling a match like this, losers always feel wrong. I always like to say consolation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think there's any consolations for the loser of this. They both want it so badly. And here we go. We're playing on high speed here. Uh, the blue yellow, not the optimal starting pill, but both these players playing the exact same combo and the garbage almost falling in the exact place. Yeah, both players getting a pretty clean opening here. Nobody in any immediate danger at the start of this, but that could all change in but a moment. And Perula's going to take two doubles on the chin and drop a combo of her own. A drop key, what a nice solve on that. And I think for, or, uh, Heavy Motto looking for this uh, drop triple needing a blue and is going to get the blue. So we're going to see a horizontal and then another uh, drop here. So a triple here as the aggression uh, really is on is high on both sides here. Uh, but nothing really going into that center well where players can really, really do that damage. Uh, those triples and quads going to be very critical here early on as uh, Peru is starting to clear off her center well. Uh, but Hebe Mata with a triple is going to drop a red right down the middle. Mm, Perula is starting to look like she might be in danger of losing the left side of her board here. Unfortunately, she had some very inconvenient column three garbage on top of a, a lightning rod setup. It always dangerous setups that you have to clear it as soon as possible, and this is exactly why. We're going to see if she can maybe arrange some kind of T situation. Yep, she's going for that blue T. She really needs to get it before any garbage falls there, and she will. And that's going to be a triple going to Hibimoto's side. But her, her, her center is still very high, and uh, Hibimoto is making his way down the board. So with a couple more combos, uh, she she may honestly be back in it. She's now uh, one blue away from another double. Make that a triple. Make that a quad. Wow. wow. Just an absolute explosion of red in the center of that board. Uh, it's going to put Hibimoto a little bit behind the eight ball. Hibimoto does have that umbrella, though, although it is not of much use as there's just uh, checkered garbage on that left side. And it is uh, Perula not really able to come up with much here. It is going to get a, a bit of a combo. That blue is favorable for Hibimoto. Uh, and Perula with a miss flip on that blue yellow. That's going to be huge as uh, it is currently 29 to 30 virus count. But these two players playing incredibly tight games. And uh, we're going to see what Perula decides to do here goes with the horizontal and then just goes with the single vertical here trying not to combo just trying to survive here as uh hebe motto starting to put the pressure on it mm -hmm. she finds uh, a double with a, a quick run of double reds always important to recognize when those are happening they are relatively common in this game and uh, they are some free combo potential given you have the space on your board and you don't get interrupted so very good uh, foresight from her but uh, now the, the center is starting to build up and she's really got to get this left side under control. If she's not able to do that, then she might be stuck on the right side for the rest of the game. And this early on, that's very bad. It's incredibly challenging. Uh, but we're starting to see uh, uh, Perula really start to address that uh, that center column, or the column four rather, uh, but Hibimoto keeps just dropping things down and now the speed's starting to get to uh, Perula here. Perula have, running out of real estate here, flipped that up and uh, could have had the combo early but decided not to, uh, wanted to keep things going and Perula down to 30 uh, viruses but Hibimoto, ooh, this is a big 
being played to drop everything down a little bit, but Hibi Mato playing uh, absolutely in the driver's seat right now. Mm -hmm. But she is doing a very good job of continuing to find combos as she gets her way out of the situation. So she is managing to stun lock him and prevent Hibi Mato from dropping any further combos so that she has a chance to, to escape from this. Absolutely, and Perula getting some combos here. Uh, didn't have the fat log. The uh, the uh, there's reverse polarity on that red yellow uh, in column five. Uh, but finding more combos here, finding setups here, but again, running out of real estate. Hibi Mato not even really going for combos uh, just when he's able to here, uh, just trying to chip down the board. He's already down to a dozen viruses, so it is very much firmly in uh, position here as Hibi Mato is going to put the string together another double combo. And uh, um, now Perula is going to top out here, it looks like. Yep, that is it. Game one to Hibi Mato. She could just not get out of the top of that board, and the speed just became Surmountable. She's going to begin this game with a horizontal setup. Very well done. Um, both players are going to find combos at roughly the same time, but Hebe will make it a double. And here comes Perula getting the combo to drop down and getting a nice clear here, but now starting to have that uh, sixth column blocked off, and now it is 100% blocked off of that garbage. Really rough when you're trying to set things up, and then that garbage comes down. Oh, Although but some charity garbage will clean it right up. <laughs> Players just playing absolutely out of their minds here. 42 to 53. Uh, again, you, you start getting this, this bottom of six rows uh, left, and you just see all those doubles. So uh, it may turn into a race if these players keep their boards clean. Uh, honestly, things have really evened out. Things were looking very dangerous for Perula at the beginning of this game, and now she's starting to find her way into the center. But Ibi Mato seems to have something to say about that as he's. Uh, keeping the combos coming, still looking like he has a much cleaner board, but Perula is finding some great solids and setups out of the board that she's being handed here. And that, that yellow dropping in column 4 is huge, because that does block any sort of drill down combo, and uh, is going to be forcing PB Mato to drop that fourth column down horizontally, and uh, that's what we're starting to see. We're seeing build-ups here, and uh, build-ups on build-ups, as uh, PB Mato looking for potentially uh, something to get out of that column 4, and now that column 4 a little bit lower down here, but Lev uh, starting to stack up here for... Uh, Perula. Mm -hmm. She does have some horizontal chances if she can get this D sandwich is blue out of column four that I think is going to be her best shot but it's not going to be easy uh, with the pills that she's getting. She needs to create a platform, get the blue horizontal done and not block anything off in the process. Well she's actually going to find a very novel way to do it. She's going to now oh, wow. get a quad and clear several viruses. That was a huge find. I think that's going to be a pivotal moment here. Uh, she's now really finding herself in a, a, the best position she's had this entire crown. Yeah, and uh, it absolutely rained on Hibimato's parade there. A lot of combos were broken up uh, with that quad garbage falling down. And now here comes Perula. Perula setting up another big triple combo uh, and just shuffling that blue and yellow garbage. Uh, a nice clear there for Hibimato is going to drop down two more gar pieces of garbage. And Hibimato might want to start thinking about triples here as it's starting to stack up again. But as I say that, uh, Perula starts clearing things down. And if I'm Perula here, I'm really maybe thinking thinking about some sort of solution to that uh, left side or that right side rather because it's starting to get a little stacked up and now it's the speed starting to get to Perula. Mm -hmm. She's keeping things spicy going for this cross at about halfway up the board. Uh, she can get it all to topple. That's going to be huge. That's going to be a quad for her and this garbage is going to clear some more uh, things away for her. Uh, she's going to find another horizontal and a double at the top left. And uh, I mean, I would give Hebe Model maybe a slight edge, but this is looking uh, about as even as it gets. Yeah, and Hebe Motto has a couple of nice combo plays, but this uh, garbage is going to break one of them up. Uh, but a uh, nice double combo regardless, as uh, this is low board elevation, so it's going to be more about that stun lock game and uh, really figuring out when the best time to combo is. Both these players are just on that lower half of the board with all the doubles available. You're definitely going to see a lot of uh, quick clears here uh, as Perula again starts to stack up and is going to get a drop here down to 25, or rather still at 25 viruses. Hibimato looking for blue solutions, not a lot of blue viruses, 
virus is for him to clear out, so he's got to be creative with it. And you definitely can be afforded to in a versus situation as opposed to a speed game situation. Mm. Both players are beginning to stack up the board and attempt to continue the combo onslaught. Uh, honestly, it, just when I think that one player's pulling ahead, the other player uh, ends up falling back in that situation. And just as quickly as it looked like Hibimoto may have had a lead, Karula is now stun locking him to the top of his board. This is incredible. If this garbage is going to fall fast enough and continue, uh, she's going to, I don't think she's going to find another one in time, but uh, she's now going to get a triple to follow triple. that up. Yeah, Perua really likes to get aggressive in that endgame. We've seen it uh, a lot in this tournament, and Perula is going to get a, just a tight triple there, down to her final 11 here. Uh, but Hibimoto responds with a quad, and that does interrupt a lot of plays and options for Perula, but Perula figuring it out here, going to get another triple. Uh, that red, wow. oh, a quad that red rather, blue, nice. That red blue looked like a misdrop, and I didn't even see it, but she that was a deliberate setup to get that quad. That was incredible play. And we're going to see another combo set up here, a drop cross uh, in, on the horizon here for Perula. Uh, but Hibimoto now doing the stun locking here as uh, Perula able to get one off. But here comes some more garbage. It's going to be a quad as those two uh, double combos were stacked together. And it is 18 to 9 here, but we're seeing the, oh. the stun lock game continuing from Hibimoto. Oh, he's going to get a quad into another triple on top. Breaks up the cross. And he is starting to now get back into the same position he found himself in not too long ago. Uh, and things have really evened out here. It tends to go this way where one player gets a massive rush of combos and pulls ahead. But then when they run out of gas, the other player is able to, to take the momentum back now that they have tons of ammunition to send back to the the opponent um so it's just gonna come down to who ends up in uh on t uh, finishing out first in that exchange and here comes perula and that's gonna be a long drop so that's gonna give her a little bit of time here before he Mato can start attacking again and here comes a triple that's again gonna drop far down the board as uh perula is starting to uh bring the momentum swing back into her favor it is 12 to 8 here in Perula with another combo, but with these uh, pieces stacking up, the drop time is a little bit decreased, and here comes a triple from Hibimoto, and that's going to interrupt a lot of plans on Perula's side. Mm -hmm, but I think she's going to make the best of it. She's going to get a double into another, but Hibi responding with a double of his own, trying to keep pace with these combos. And Perula and... just going to drop the stack down with another double combo. Mm -hmm. She just, she knows that she can't let up now. This is one of the best players in the world that she's playing against. You cannot give him a single opportunity to come back because he will find the solve and he will make you regret it. Absolutely here as we're going to see a triple from Perula, but that is going to clear out uh, a stack of blue. But uh, 12 to 8 here, nobody's cleared a virus in some time. Uh, these players just kind of focusing on the momentum swing right now. It's a better board for Perula, but that's not saying much as there are a lot of combo opportunities here for Hibimoto. He's going to take a double here, and that's going to interrupt a potential virus combo clear for Perula here as Perula just trying to figure out how she can get through here. She's going to take that. Uh, two viruses off the board just to get a little bit of uh, clear breathing room here and she does have a drop cross set up for another clear uh, me and even a fat log potentially even a uh, fat log triple if she can get another yellow red doesn't elect to go for it in fact uh, just decides to go for the garbage clears had a uh, set up for a uh, virus clear but electing not to take it mm -hmm. I think she just wanted the guaranteed damage she just want to get the combo out as soon as possible like I said she doesn't want to give EB mod any time to recover as little time as humanly possible and uh, that might be happening right now as Hebe's finding several combos this garbage though and column two for Hebe's gonna block off the setup he had uh, I don't know this might be a pivotal moment here if Perula can keep the onslaught going Perula could have gone uh, drill down and gotten a triple but instead electing to just get the clears going so she's down to her final virus but it is very lev. She's going to have to figure out some sort of solve here. I think it's going to be that uh, red horizontal in row three. Mm -hmm. I, I, I cannot believe this is only crown two. I feel like this has already been uh, an odyssey of a game, of a match here. Uh, but both players are... are... Coming up to the endgame here, Perula with only one virus left, unfortunately very buried among 
unlike color of pills, uh, they're all very popcorn down there, so she's gonna have to hope she gets a lot of red and blues to clear this out and make do with any yellows that she finds. Yeah, and Hibimata with the double yellow combo just blocking again another combo setup for Perula. Uh, but Perula getting a double yellow here, and oh, now a red. Oh, that yellow virus is just getting buried alive here. Uh, Perula may want to shift her strat here and just go combos and just shut Hibimato down here. Uh, both players playing high elevations, although the higher elevations are on the wings for Hibimato, uh, whereas for uh, Perula, it's just a high elevation. Uh, it's oh. on that first column, but there's such a stack everywhere else. And Perula right now struggling to find some combos here, finally does. Um, but it's now four to one. Um, it looks like Hibimoto might be covering up that column and he will take that yellow and get a combo to boot. This virus might be far too buried, I think. But so are Hibimoto's to be fair. Uh, and the pill speed is starting to get very fast. So uh, that's gonna be a huge quad or no, just a triple, excuse me, for, for Perula. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna be tough. I don't know how either player is gonna close this out. This may come down to a top out if neither player can find a way. Yeah, that speed's going to catch up with these players at some point. We're already starting to see it. Uh, that yep, that red that dropped in column five is going to be a very critical piece of garbage as Perula just looking to stay in this. Hibimoto looking to take that 2 nothing lead. Hibimoto playing a little bit more favorable with the board now. Uh, if he can get that uh, column seven cleanup, he could start under clearing and uh, really take it to Perula here. But Perula wanting that last virus, but these combo drops just keep getting her. Uh, we're going to see uh, what she does here. I think she's setting up for a quad level. Yeah, she absolutely is. Going to try to get things opened up. She's close to that yellow, but so far. This is insane. I cannot believe we are still in game two here. I don't think either player has cleared a virus for over two minutes or more at this point. Um, and the pill speed at this point, we're going to start getting into uh, the kinds of speeds we see in classic Tetris soon if, if this doesn't get yeah. closed out. But Perula getting quite close, in fact, to that yellow virus just needs to carve out a little more space around it. Whereas Hebe, uh, wow, just when I thought he was in danger, he makes a huge combo that clears out the board and he's going to find another one very soon. But he must must be at level 18, level 19 Tetris speeds at this point, but he is still dropping combos. This column seven is the only thing standing between him and his viruses, and suddenly Perul is very buried. This is too close to call. She's gonna find another combo, neither player backing down here. This is incredible play from both players. Perula just net playing never say die here, and uh, Hibimato getting one virus clear. He does have the setup. He is looking for the clear out. He could get it. Does Perula have enough to stay in this? Perula's one pill fragment away, but the com she's not going to get the combo in time, I don't think, wow. and it will be Hibimato getting the clear out victory. What a heartbreaker. I cannot believe we're oh. expecting them to continue playing after that. What enough performance that, that, from everyone involved. That crown aged me by three years, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep it rolling uh, as it is 57 all here. And if I'm Perula, I need that momentum shift. I'm down 2-0. I might play a little bit aggressively here and just try to get a quick top out crown uh, because we, we saw that that was just an endurance match. And... You know, again, I say this when you keep when you're playing it for this long and especially playing around for that long, it takes a lot out of you. Oh, absolutely. I can't imagine just the mental load that they've had to endure for the last uh, how long has this been now? I don't even know, but this is looking very dangerous for Perula. Uh -oh. She's going to clear that out. She will get a blue horizontal, I believe, but I don't blue. know if it'll be enough. There's more garbage on the way, and this is. That's Maybe it. too much, and that's gonna be it. Oh, that's yeah. gonna be game, set, and match for Hebe Motto. Uh, the 3-0 score does not tell the whole story. Congratulations to Perula. That was some amazing play. That second crown was one of the best games I've seen, even if it didn't go her way. Uh, she played amazing. So uh, third place in this tournament, and, and these tournaments are stacked. So that is nothing to sneeze at. That was an amazing performance. Uh, I'm sure she will be happy with that uh, going into Hartford next weekend, uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, just incredible play from uh, Perula. Uh, but uh, Hibimoto is our winner, and that means that we will get the run back of Snipe and Hibimoto. So we are, that is going to be coming up next. Get some snacks, get some water, settle in, because this is the big one. Stay tuned, everybody.